This striped bass was inspired by a traditional Cantonese wedding banquet dish. It's a whole fish, steamed, topped with Chinese aromatics, and then doused with scalding hot oil. So the garlic, the ginger, scallion are actually fried right into the fish. Well, I had the idea, instead of steaming the fish, to grill it on a cedar plank. I have some beautiful, fresh, two-pound striped bass. The first step is to trim off the fins here, trim off the fins here, and for aesthetic reasons, I like to make a V-shaped cut in the tail. Now, season the cavity of the bass, first with coarse sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Then fill the cavity with sliced jalapenos, chopped scallions, sliced garlic, lime slices, ginger slices, and a stalk of fresh lemongrass. So I'll simply trim off the top and flatten the lemongrass to release the aromatic oils. This goes in the cavity. Then pin the cavity shut with toothpicks. Next, make a series of parallel cuts through the side of the fish to the bone. This helps the fish cook more evenly. Now brush the outside with sesame oil, another of the defining flavors of the Orient. Then season the fish with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. And now to the grill. The fish borrows a technique from the American Pacific Northwest, grilling on a cedar plank. Conventional wisdom holds that you soak the planks to keep them from burning. I want to do just the opposite. I want to char the planks over a high heat to release some of those smoky flavors. Place the fish on the grill. Cooking time for fish this size is 30 to 40 minutes. I'll use this Maverick Temperature Time Instant Read Thermometer to check the time. It's been 30 minutes. Let's check the fish. Wow, check it out. The cedar plank is charred. The cedar aroma is amazing. You can see it's pulled away from the bones in the slits, but to be double sure, you can use an instant read meat thermometer. You're looking for about 135, 138 degrees. Bingo. Place the fish on a platter with a well. Strew the top of each fish first with thinly sliced jalapeno chilies, then thinly sliced scallions. Shredded fresh ginger. and thinly sliced garlic. Now, I've heated some sesame oil on the grill side burner. And watch this part because it's really cool. You're gonna pour the hot oil over the vegetables and the oil will fry the vegetables, releasing those incredible aromatic flavors. The fragrance is just amazing. To fillet the fish with a sharp knife, you just want to make a cut slightly above the backbone. And then using this spoon, kind of lift the fish. Mm. 
You know, striped bass is a delicate, full-flavored fish, and it really stands up to the cedar smoke and all these aromatics. It's moist, it's flavorful. This fish has all the vibrant flavors of street food in Bangkok. Plus, imagine how cool it looks when you do this at the table for your friends.